And we've got details on the AMD Radeon RX 9070. And this first one comes from videocards.com where they say they have there's the balance of power and price similar to the 7800 XT and my beloved 7900 GRE. Let's get down with the details here. AMD Chief Architecture and Gaming Solutions and Gaming Marketing, Frank Azor. Oh, my goodness. Do you need so many titles, Frank? Cut a couple of them, sir. My gosh. Took me an hour just to say all that. Anyway, Frank Azor discusses AMD RDNA 4 Series with uh, Michael Cassida. And he reveals information about the RDNA series, specifically why it was not included in the CES 2025 keynote and the plans for the new DGPU series. Azor briefly reiterated that what had already been mentioned in the Q&A sessions following the keynote. And AMD did not have enough time to discuss RDNA 4 during the presentation. It was apparently impossible to extend the keynote beyond 45 minutes or to cut AI-related topics to make room for the RX 9070 series and Ryzen Z2 for handhelds. This statement surprised both the media, who were briefed, and GPU enthusiasts eagerly awaiting the news. However, Azor disclosed that AMD will hold a separate event to cover RDNA 4 and FSR 4. More importantly, he addressed RDNA 4's pricing. Azor clarified that RDNA 4 cards will not be priced at $300, but also not at 1000 landing somewhere in between in terms of performance and pricing. Azor didn't provide new information beyond existing rumors. However, he did mention that the 9070 series will offer a balance of power and price similar to that of the 7800 XT and the 7900 GRE, which is between $500 and $800. Those cards are, at least. Furthermore, the original video's title hinted that AMD wanted to wait for NVIDIA to announce its pricing, though it wasn't directly stated in the interview. So, uh, yeah, it's um, I believe it's a YouTube video. Let me see. No, nope, there's no link here. Anyway, I will link this article in the description. And there's not something else that I've got related to the 9070. This is from WCCF Tech. AMD's Radeon 9070 GPUs get listed at a Spanish retailer. And it reveals details about the Gigabyte models that are coming out. Now that uh, RDNA 4 GPUs are not far away from official release... Spanish retailer Neobyte has apparently lifted, listed three SKUs of the Radeon 9070 XT and its non-XT counterpart, featuring models such as the Gigabyte Aorus and the base variant as well. However, the pricing might be a wee bit absurd. Yeah, it, it is. And they have uh, these three slides here. Let me go ahead and pop them up because these, these are interesting slides. They're showing... Uh, the 9070 XT Elite, 16 gig for 1,120 pounds. Next up is the 9070 XT Gaming OC, 16 gig with uh, about 1070, $1,070 more pounds. And then you've got the vanilla 9070 Gaming OC, 16 at uh, 890. So that's what they're showing there. It is important to note here that these are surely not the final prices, but rather random values put up by the retailers since we're anti anticipating far lower MSRP, preferably within the three hundred to one thousand dollar range. I'm thinking no. If they're go if, if if Azor is correct in his forecasts and his predictions and what he revealed, we're going to see these cards between five hundred and eight hundred. That would be my guess. Um, however, the listing has revealed some specifics regarding the specs, at least. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, here's another one. Oh, let me let, let's pull these up real quick. Let me uh, go ahead and translate this into English here. 
Let's uh, increase the font size so this will be bigger. There we go. So uh, there's, let's scroll down here, and here we got some specs. This is what we wanted to see. Uh, RDNA 4, core clock up to 2,000. Uh, stream processors, none, or 2 to be determined. Memory speed is 20 gigabytes, 20 gigabits per second. 16 gig GDDR6, a 256-bit bus, PCI Express 5, X16, which is cool. Maximum supported screens is 4. Uh, recommended power supply is 850 watts. Uh, wind force uh, triple fan configuration. Connection is three 8-pin PCIe connectors. Uh, OpenGL 4.6, DirectX 12 Ultimate. It's, uh, uh, it's a three-slot design, and it weighs 1.60 kilograms. And that's just for the 16-gigabit uh, uh, XT Elite. So, yeah. Um, Neobyte, but also not just Neobyte, but the Philippine retailer Net Codex has listed a 9070 XT for around 530. Let's check that out real quick. And here it is. But they're showing, yeah, I don't know what kind of uh, currency that is. Yikes. But uh, yeah, for five hundred thirty dollars for a five hundred thirty dollar card for a sixteen uh, gigabytes of RAM, um, that'll kind of translate in, uh, uh, into what we can expect in terms of uh, launch price. Uh, in a recent video, as the article continues, uh, Prankazor said uh, we're going to see these new GPUs between three hundred and one thousand. But I'm thinking a more realistic number again, as I read it, would be uh, five hundred to eight hundred. When you consider um, they're supposed to slot between the uh, 7900 GRE and the 7800 XT. So, yeah. And those cards, I, I bought, well, I spent, a, I spent a pretty pretty on my, a pretty penny on my 9600, uh, my 7800 GRE. So, yeah, quite a bit. Uh, it, it's, I'm, I'm, also pulled up. I don't have it here, but I believe you can pre-order these starting uh, January 21st, but don't quote me on that. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I don't know if it was a WCCF tech or not. I did not click the uh, link here, but I believe we might be able to, re, uh, to pre-order these. Uh, in the last week of January. But if I come across it, I'll, uh, in, in, a, in a future video, I'll let you know. So, uh, yeah, it's looking like the 97 series. Eh. It, I, I'm, I'm torn. I don't, I have to see, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off until I see the reviews from Hardware Unboxed and uh, see what goes on there because I'm not, I'm like hovering. I'm like not too sold on it. I'm debating between uh, buying one and, re and it, it depends on performance and price and do I really want it or not. I'm perfectly freaking fine with keeping my 7,900 GRE. Um, but here's the here's my dilemma. I don't want to sell it, but I also don't want to soak another seven or eight hundred dollars on a GPU because I'm thinking the GRE will eventually become uh, a collector's item, and that's just something I'd like to keep on uh, this. Well, not my wall. This is going to be a blank wall. Yeah, some of you folks don't understand that the reason us men keep our walls blank is because that means. It's not a threat to our security deposit. <laughs> when you put crap on the walls and stuff, you threaten your security deposit. That's why we live in such hospital-like sterile 
environments. So, yeah, ring the bell and subscribe to Gonzo Media. We'll see you in the next one.